are you this morning? Oh my goodness, so excited to see you. Based upon our book today, remember Wiggle Wiggle Jiggle? Miss Mel Wiggle 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 Jiggled out of bed this morning. And I saw the amazing sunshine that came into my room this morning. And it is beautiful. So if you get a chance to go out in your backyard today, if you get a chance to walk around the neighborhood with your parents today, please do it because it is gorgeous. And oh my goodness, it is so beautiful out today. So we're gonna wish each other a big good morning, my loves, as we do every day, sharing that kindness. So let me hear you on the count of three. Christina, you ready? One, two, three, good morning. Let me hear you loud. Okay, let's try it one more time. Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Three, good morning. Oh, I heard you all the way over here. I got blown away. Christy, did you get blown away by all of those kiddos? Oh my goodness. Now today, <clears throat> we are gonna read our book, The Big Blue Egg. And remember Miss Nell was saying at the end of story time yesterday, we're, this is a pop-up book, which means pop-up engineers. We're going to become our own pop-up creators and engineers today. Uh, we are going to make an awesome paper craft today that's going to have, inspired by Christina, a bunny. Oh, my goodness, I said it, Christina, a bunny. You're amazing. And everyone thinks you're amazing, even Miss Mel. And I love you so much. And I love our kiddos so much. We're going to do a bunny today. And you know what? Inspired by the big blue egg that these farm animals find on the farm, or is it a big blue egg? We are going to make an egg that the bunny pops out of. Are you ready for that, Christina? Oh, are you ready for that, my loves? Let me hear you. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. So let's start off with our book today. And when Miss Mill says pop-up engineers, you're going to create your own pop-up. These books are amazing, extra amazing books because the engineers who made them created them in a way where the book almost come, feels like it comes alive with its actions. And they've engineered the paper in such a way that it becomes 3D. Whoa. <laughs> let's try that again. Whoa! Oh my goodness! So should we start our reading of our big blue egg today? What do you think, Christina? What do you think, kiddos? Okay, let's do it. The big blue egg. And who do we see on the cover of our big blue egg book today? We see a cow, we see a piggy, and we see a sheep. Oh, and is that a little mouse? Down there? And is that a chicken? All characters in our story today, and some of these animals live on the farm. So let's see what happens in the Big Blue Egg by Cass Smith. One morning, Curly Pig found a strange thing in the farmyard. What was it, you see? It was a big blue egg, or it looked like a big blue egg. It was big and blue and round like a circle, and it didn't make a sound. <gasps> Maybe it's an egg, thought Curly. I'll ask Little Black Hen. She knows all about eggs. Oh, there's Little Black Hen. Little Black Hen walks slowly around the big blue thing. She sniffed at it with her beak. Let's see her sniff at it with her beak. She tapped at it. Tap, 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 tap. Can we make a little sound effect in the background while we tap, tap, tap? And she listened very hard to the big blue egg. Can we listen to it, Christina? Let's see what it sounds like. And then, well, she said, it's round like an egg, and it sounds like an egg, and you know what? It looks like an egg, she said. So, I think it must be an egg. <gasps> Roll it into my nest. I'll keep it nice and warm until it hatches, she said. Oh. <gasps> Oh my 
goodness, she flapped her wings because she was so excited that the egg of another wonderful egg was in her nest today. <gasps> but the egg didn't fit in little black hen's nest. <gasps> oh no, little black hen didn't fit on top of the egg either as she wiggled, wiggle, wiggled and shake, shake, shake and jiggle, jiggle, jiggle to fit in her nest. We we'll just have to build its nest all its own, she decided, because it's far too big to fit into my nest today. Oh no, Curly went to find Violet the cow and Pearl the sheep. Wait a minute, together the animals made a beautiful nest out of some of Violet's hay. Then very, very gently, Curly rolled the egg, <gasps> rolled it, rolled it, rolled it into the big blue nest. You see the big egg, my loves, under her curlies? Oh, there it is. <gasps> rolled it into the new nest. Then, wait a minute, Pearl covered it with a soft blanket of wool. <clears throat> covered it, nice and warm, because in order for the egg to hatch, we have to keep it nice and warm. Let's see what happens next. <clears throat> Everyone settled down to wait for the egg to hatch because the cow, the sheep, the chicken, and curly whirly pig were so excited for what was to come next and pop out of this big blue egg. They waited and they waited and they waited and they waited. Perhaps it isn't warm enough. Giving the egg a nudge. Wobble, wobble, wobble went the egg. Oh no, <coughs> oops, the big blue egg toppled out of the nest and began to roll away. Can we roll and bounce like the egg? Roll, 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 roll away. We rolled, the egg rolled and rolled and rolled away and bounced out of our nest. <gasps> oh my goodness! Boing, 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 boing went the ball. <gasps> the egg bounced across the farmyard. Boing, 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 just like Christina's boinging. Good job, Christina. Boing, boing, boing. <gasps> faster and faster it bounced. Straight over the pond. Stop that egg, said the chicken. And the animals all jumped up. Sheba, the sheepdog, jumped up really high to the sky to catch that egg. Or again, is it an egg? She caught the runaway egg in her mouth. Oh my goodness. And put it gently down with her paws. Oh, hurrah, shouted the animals, you saved it. Oh, so Sheba, I've been looking for this all day. Woo, barked Sheba the dog. Thank you, is it yours, asked Curly for surprise? I didn't know that dogs lay eggs, what? It's not an egg, silly. It's my blue ball, left Sheba. I play with it along with all the puppies. They play with it too. It's not a big blue egg. It's my big blue play ball. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this was our present from the farmer. It's not an egg at all. Oh my Sheba's puppies play with this big blue ball. My loves, this is our favorite bouncy ball. Let's watch our puppies play with the ball. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <clears throat> Thank you for finding it, said Sheba. And everyone was so excited at the farm for Sheba to ha and her puppies to have back their big blue ball. Oh, that was an awesome story, my loves, wasn't it? And it was one of our favorite pop-up books for today. Now, Miss Nell is going to show you a craft 
today that are your own little pop-up craft. You're going to become pop-up engineers today, paper artists today. What? <coughs> and again, this was inspired by our book, The Big Blue Egg. So we're going to make an egg, pop-up egg. And we're going to make a bunny face. Yes, I said inspired by Christina because she's an amazing bunny. Can we give her a round of applause? Christina, we love you so much, sweetheart. We love you. <clears throat> so today, our craft, Ms. Mel's going to show you how to do this craft. And in the comment section and in our post today, we have the link that shows you how to make the craft as well in case you want to do it later. Or you can do it today with Ms. Mel. Whatever you decide to do it, we're going to go over it together and I'm going to show you how to make this craft. And we're going to show you how to make this craft with anything you can find around your house throughout the day. Everyday materials. I'm going to give you several different ideas. <clears throat> so, we're going to take a paper plate. Uh, just a regular paper plate if you have that around the house. Or, if you don't have a paper plate, that's no problem. You know what we can use instead? We can use a cereal box. What? Let's think out of the box, as we always do, my loves. We are always awesome creators. And we're going to think out of the box with everything we do always. So we're going to use, we could use a cereal box for the paper. You can make it three-dimensional with a cereal box. Or you could use a regular thick piece of paper that you have, construction paper or stock or cardstock paper. Or you can even use a thin cardboard box. And, and But Ms. Mel's going to ask you if you use scissors, make sure they're safety scissors. Or if you have to use regular scissors, make sure your parents are with you whenever you use the scissors, the, the adult scissors. Because we don't want to make sure, we don't want to hurt ourselves while we're doing this craft. All right, my love, so <clears throat> take your plate for plate, your cereal box, whatever you have, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to cut this paper plate. We're going to mark our paper plate a third of the way. We're going to mark it with a pen, a marker, a pencil. We're going to do a line a third of the way across. <clears throat> and remember, my loves, make sure you have your parents with you if you're using adult size scissors, okay? So we're going to cut our paper plate this way where we put our line. Boop. And then we can either take our pencil or pen and we're going to cut, we're going to draw mountains and we're going to cut our paper plate in a jagged edge. Up, down, up, down. We're going to do little triangles in our paper plate to make it look like half of an egg that cracked open, just like in our book today. Our chicken was hoping that the egg would crack open with another baby chick. Then we're going to take the wonderful piece that we cut off, this piece, the third piece, a third of the paper plate that we originally cut off. So we're going to have two pieces. We're going to take this piece and put it to the back, just like that. Can you see that? Where it almost has a little opening in there. Can you see that together? Can you see that, Christina? Okay, so we're going to sandwich that up, and Miss Mel's going to hold it for you sideways as well as longways. And we're going to take our stapler. <clears throat> now, you can use tape. You can use a stapler, you can use duct tape, you can use paper, painter's tape, you can use any tape you have around the house, you can even use glue. We're going to staple or tape or glue the two, two staples right over here. Can you see that together? And we're going to staple right over here, two spots together. We're going to staple them on the side so that we leave the center open for our pop-up. This is how we're going to be pop-up engineers with this next piece that we make, the bunny. Right, Christina? I said it, the bunny. <laughs> All right, my loves. So we're going to take this, and Miss Mel wants you to color this. Can I show you mine that I colored earlier this week? What? A few of my favorite colors, yellow like the sun, blue like the ocean or the sky, a dark blue. And pink, one of my fave colors. What, am I wearing a pink shirt today? Yes, I am. 
pink. You can color your half of your cracked egg any way you'd like. You can color it rainbow. I know I said it, rainbow. And you know what? Miss Mel's going to bring back, remember we talked about rainbows? And Roy Gabiv, the order and the color of a rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That was our secret word for the day. Roy Gabiv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Those are all the colors of a rainbow and the color order of a rainbow. But you can color your egg any way you like. And Miss Mel colored hers just the way she liked it. So you can use your favorite colors. You can color it all one color. It could be one big blue egg, whatever you like. Be creative as you always are, my loves. Now, after you've colored your egg and you've stapled or taped or glued your egg with the center open, Miss Mel's going to put that down for a second, and we're going to show you how to cut out your wonderful little bunny. Yes, I said it. Look what Miss Mel made a bunny. Now, all this is is paper. This is all paper, and this is a drinking straw, but you know what? You can use, Miss Mel had several things around the house. You can use a chopstick. You can use a pencil that's unsharpened. You can use a color pencil. You can use, what else could you use? You could use a coffee stirrer if mom, moms or dads have a coffee stirrer. You can use whatever you'd like to make that long stick. <clears throat> Isn't that bunny adorable? I'm gonna push this bunny for one. Oh my goodness, Christina loves this bunny so much. That is the best compliment ever. Christina, do you love this bunny? Here, honey, you can have, Miss Mel loves to share. If you love it that much, you can certainly have it, my love, because you know what? Miss Mel loves to share, and you know what? It makes my heart happy when I give wonderful things to all my friends and my loves, so you can have it, but can I borrow it just for a second to show all the, my loves and the kiddos and our new friends? Thank you, sweetheart. All right, so today we're going to make this bunny to go with our pop-up crib. Now we're going to draw together a heart on just a regular piece of paper. Now you could use a thicker piece of paper for this, but you know what? You can use any paper you have around the house. Absolutely. If you have printer paper, if you find a piece of paper, you can use newspaper, you can use any paper you have around the house. So we're going to help you, our parents and I are going to help you draw a heart. Can you see that heart? <clears throat> We're going to draw that heart together. And you know what? My favorite way to help little ones draw when we're drawing something specific together, Miss Nell takes her pen or pencil or crayon or marker, and I give it to little one's hands, and I say, okay, you're going to help me draw this. So Miss Nell will hold on to the pen or pencil or crayon, and then little ones will put their hand on top of my hand, and then we are going to draw the heart together. We're going to draw this heart together. So moms, dads, grandmoms, granny, whomever you're with, or if you're Zooming with Grammy or auntie or uncle or noni or Gigi, whomever we love so much, we're going to help them do it together, okay? So you're going to hold on, parents, you're, you're going to hold on to the pen or crayon or pencil or crayon or marker or whatever you have. And little ones are going to put their hand on top of your hand, and we're going to draw the heart together. So Ms. Mel's going to draw the heart with you together. Okay. So now we're going to cut out our heart. Now remember, when you're using scissors, Make sure you're using them. If they're not safety scissors, make sure you're using them with your parents. Okay, my loves? We're doing it together, and we can do this slow. Take your time. There's no rush. All right. Now we've cut out our heart. Now, Christina, thank you for letting me use this, my love. Do you see this? We're going to turn that heart upside down. Do you see how we turn that heart upside down after we cut it? We're going to make sure to go like that. And then we're going to take a marker or a crayon or a color pencil, and we're going to color our eyes, make two circles for eyes, and make a colorful nose, a circle for a colorful nose. And we're going to do two J's. We're going to do a J this way and a backwards J. And we're going to keep those J's together, and we're going to make a mouth from the nose. And then we can't forget 
our whiskers. Three whiskers. We're going to draw with our crayon or a pencil or a pen, whatever we want to draw with, my loves. Now, we're going to make our ears. This mouth has a few pieces. Now, do you see these ears are pink and yellow? But you know what? You don't have to have yellow or pink paper, right, Christina? You can just have regular paper and color your ears whatever color your bunny ears you would like them to be. So they could be purple, they could be pink, they could be orange, whatever your favorite colors are. And you know what? Miss Mel would love after you finish these crafts because you not only share them with me, you share them with all our friends and new friends out there who are part of our families. And you know what? I want to see pictures of your crafts. So I would love for you to share pictures of your craft in our comment section because Christina would love to see them too. Right, Christina? She's so excited to see them, especially since they're a bunny and inspired by her and all of you. So you know what? We're going to share. I hope to see a lot of sharing these crafts after you get done with them. All right, my love. So we're going to make... <clears throat> Miss Mel just so happened to have some yellow paper, so we're gonna make small little loops. Can you see these loops? With our pen, pencil, crayon marker, we're gonna draw them with our parents, and then we're gonna make bigger loops on our pink paper, or regular paper, whatever you have, and we're gonna make those loops. And you know what, do you see how that looks like her ears? Again, you don't have to have regular, you don't have to have pink paper or yellow paper. You can have regular paper, perfectly fine, and color your ears however you like to color them. Now, Miss Snell didn't have any glue. And my rubber cement glue kind of dried up over, over the holiday. So you know what, we, we use tape. Miss Mel had some tape downstairs, some packaging tape. And you know what? I cut off little pieces of the packaging tape. And I, after I cut out my ears, and again, you're going to cut out your ears with your parents, cut out my ears. Miss Mel taped the little ears onto the big ears. And then I taped them right on top of the upside down heart for our bunny. So I taped them right on top. Or you can tape them behind. Perfectly fine, whatever way you'd like to do it, my loves. Then, after you do all of this wonderfulness, you are going to have a drinking straw, or you're going to have a chopstick, or you're going to have an unsharpened pencil, or anything you can think of out of the box creatively that you can put on the back. And we're going to tape this to our bunny face. Now that we finished our project, or when we finish our project, you have become paper engineers. I want to give you a round of applause. I'm going to put our bunny down for a moment. Good job. And I'm going to give you an extra clap for when you do this project later because I want you to be able to hear it a second time. We're going to take our wonderful bunny. Christina, can, may I borrow your bunny? Okay, and we're going to do it together. Would you like to do this together with me? Okay, we're going to put our the little slit we made in our paper plate and kept it open. We're going to put our straw down there. Ready, Christina? Should we pop up? Okay, who's hiding behind our egg today? One, two, three. Boop! <laughs> what? We can have our own puppet show with this bunny. What? Christina, did we create not only paper, we're paper engineers today, created our own paper engineering project, but did we create a puppet as well? What? Is that truly amazing? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're welcome, my love. You're welcome, sweetheart. I'm more than happy to make you and everyone else happy. Brings Miss Mel joy to her heart every day. Look at this. Boop. Oh, we create a puppet show. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Let's pop it up again. Boop! <laughs> what? Look, we're going to have a good bunny time. Are we walking? We're walking tall. Oh, my goodness. Now, my loves, if you want to share your paper craft, 
share a picture, or even a video. If you share your video, your paper craft, and do your own little puppet show, I would love to see that. And so would everyone else and our new friends and all of our families out there. We'd love to see that. And to do a little fun craft and have some crafting time with all of us together. Thank you so much, my loves, for joining us today. And Christina, and I have a special extra surprise for you. Next Tuesday, Miss Mel got very inspired by all this beautiful weather and spring having new life and hope and flowers and trees. We took a walk. We took a very long walk around the neighborhood very, very early in the morning. And Miss Mel was like, oh, let's take a picture of all of our favorite things, a little video of all of our favorite things around the neighborhood. All Miss Mel's favorite things around the neighborhood, whether they be flowers or parks. So you know what? We're going to go on a walk together. And you know what? I got extra inspired because Miss Mel took a virtual walk with a few of my near and dear to my heart family a few weeks ago. And, you know, I showed them a lot of my favorite things around the neighborhood. And I loved it. And they loved it as well. So you're going to get a chance to see a video all about Miss Mel's favorite things around her neighborhood. And you're going to get a chance to visit my neighborhood with me. Doesn't that sound like a great time? What? Christina went on the walk with me, too. And let me tell you, she found a lot of good vegetation out there. Some good grass, some good flowers. But she's still waiting for Miss Mel to plant those carrots. I told her it's a little too cold at night to do it yet. But you know what? We're going to do it real soon, probably another week or two. And then we'll have some carrots over the summer. Christina, would you love that? Miss Mel's planting lots of carrots for her. Oh, my goodness, lots. And a lot for some of the, some of the neighborhood as well. So you know what, my loves? I'm going to have you take a walk with me next Tuesday at 1030 for our virtual walk, seeing all Miss Mel's favorite things around the neighborhood. So I hope you join us next Tuesday. And next Wednesday, Miss Mel's going to do another pop-up book by Tommy DePaula. And that's going to be a wonderful, extra wonderful book because we're going to learn some Italian through that book. And we're also some new words in Italian. And you know what? We're also going to see how that pop-up book on Wednesday, next Wednesday at 1030, looks like a whole brand new world and how the book comes alive through that pop-up book as well. So Miss Mel wants to wish everybody a wonderful Passover and a wonderful Easter and have a beautiful holiday, my loves. Mwah. Love you all so much and have fun today and every day. Love you all so much, my loves. Mwah. Bye.